everyone, welcome to Small Country Big Talk. This is your host, Joey Spitz. We have the pleasure of being joined by the drummer of Hayehudim, Yahav Lipinski. Thank you, Yahav, for coming on the show. Uh, it's a pleasure. How are you guys? We're doing great, man. We are here to talk about your upcoming performance on October 18th at BB King's Blues Club in New York. You guys have been traveling all around the country. What can you tell us and our listeners about the upcoming show, the tour in the States, and what it's like playing for an American audience? Well, first of all, um, it's been a great uh, few weeks here. Uh, we got to play in some places that we never played before, like San Francisco. And, uh, it's, it's really an awesome experience uh, because uh, the crowd is, is American and also Israeli. Really a unique experience when you actually uh, come to play for people who probably didn't see us for a long time or never saw us before, which in Israel is a little less common because we're, we're already playing there for a lot of, for a lot of years. So it was, a, it was a real warm welcome, and we had a great time and uh, past shows, and we're really looking forward to the show in New York. The show in New York is a little bit different, though, because we've been there before, and, and, today, and this time around we're going to play uh, an acoustic set very different from the regular show that we usually uh, do uh, in that, that the, it's played with acoustic instruments and uh, people uh, get to hear the songs in a very different way as the songs are usually very loud songs with a lot of guitars and, uh, and a lot of drums and uh, now they, they get to hear the vocals a little bit more, they get to hear the melody and uh, uh, so it, it's going to be a lot of fun. Well, it sounds great. I know that you know some of our listeners aren't necessarily familiar with your with the group and the background. Maybe you could tell us a little bit about how you guys began. You guys have such a unique name, Hayehudim, the Jews. How that came about, and where you guys have really come over the last few years. Okay, so basically, the the singer, uh, both singers. We have two lead singers, uh, Orit and Tom, uh, and they are actually married as well. So they're pretty much partners in, in all things. <laughs> and uh, so uh, they met in, in the army. Uh, they, they were in a, in a band. It, it's, like a, it's like a band for, for the army. They met there. And uh, from then on, they, they just wanted to, to play music together. Uh, once they got, uh, after they, they uh, finished uh, the army, they uh, put together the band. And uh, that's about the time that I, I got to meet the, uh, them. And uh, we've been playing for uh, 15 years now in Israel. The name, you talked about the name, the Jews, the Yehudim. That's actually, uh, it's, it, the, the thing behind that is when the band was looking for names uh, in the recording of the first album, uh, they had a lot of suggestions. And one, one of the names that was out there um, was Hayehudim, and at, at first it wasn't really t taken seriously, but after they, they tried it on, uh, any other name became very small in comparison. It, was, was, uh, it, it has such a big impact sure. this, uh, because so much is, is behind this word, you know, it, uh, it has so much meaning behind it that, uh, that it, it was, uh, it, I think that's, that's the main reason why it stuck. Well, you guys really started out underground. I have a friend who told me even that when she was growing up, all the music that she had of yours was on cassette tapes that someone yeah, clearly had right. recorded over and over again. And with time, you guys got bigger and bigger. Joining the mainstream, I saw you open for Metallica, you opened for Rage Against the Machine when they came right. to Israel. Now, though, so many more of your songs are in English. I'm curious if that's a conscious decision to try and move to an even bigger audience. What, what's the catalyst behind that? Ah, okay, so actually the uh, songs in English were always there. So uh, a, lot of our, a lot of the songs, also, also the songs that were uh, uh, eventually released in Hebrew, uh, a lot of the times they were written in English. Um, and the, some of them were rewritten in Hebrew, and then uh, they were recorded in Hebrew for uh, the Israeli market. Uh, some of these songs um, never got a chance to see the, the latter day in, the, in English, but uh, 
So uh, the English uh, thing is not is not a new is not new to the band, but it is a conscious decision though to uh, lately to uh, group those songs and also to take the new songs that are in English and uh, try to expand a little bit uh, the horizons of the band. Well, I'm curious. Do you find that playing or rather playing in music and singing in English, do you find that to be a different experience? Do you think that you're able to convey something better or worse in Hebrew or English, or is it all the same to you? I, I think it's completely different, but at the same time, I don't think there is a, there is a, a, a uh, one is good and, and the other is bad. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's, it's very different. I think that, you know, people think in, in, in their language and there is a very different thought process when somebody thinks in a different language. So obviously, uh, there is uh, different ideas communicated in the different languages. Also, sound-wise, it sounds different. So uh, for us, it's more of a uh, you know we like to explore things, and we we've been uh, uh, doing that also musically with sounds and and, and stuff, but. This is this is a part of, of trying a new thing and doing uh, those things. But I, I don't think that we have a conscious decision in going only one way or the other, but uh, rather uh, having the two uh, options, the, the option of singing in Hebrew and the option of singing in English. Obviously, our native language is Hebrew. So. Well, before we get out, we just have one more minute. I One song of yours that I really like is actually entitled New York City. I know uh, you guys yeah. are coming to play here. Can you maybe talk a little bit about your relationship with the city itself, how that song fits into it? And Yeah. I, um, actually, Tom wrote, wrote it, but uh, uh, the, the, thing, the thing with this song is that it was actually written mostly, uh, 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 part of it was written in New York City and some after, but uh, a few years ago we had a uh, we, we came to the States to have a uh, like a uh, we wanted to to have a vacation from all the uh, from you know just to just just a band and uh, we came to the States we did some shows for uh, for the Israeli community but mostly we you know we just relaxed and had a good time and some of the of, of what we experience with friends that, that stay in, in New York and this, just the, the, the really humbling uh, uh, feeling which you get when you walk for the first time in, in this giant city. Uh, I think it was the, the inspiration for that song. Uh, I didn't write it, Tom wrote it, so he probably uh, uh, he could share more uh, some other time, but I, it. The, the mostly, the, the thing about that is that, uh, w you know, some of our friends, we, we got to meet them, and they, they were living for a long time in New York, and, you know, we got to hear some stories, and, uh, and uh, it's, it's a, an amazing city, yet it's a very difficult city, it's, it's an expensive city, you know, all those things together. And, sure. Uh, it's, uh, all together, this, uh, it's, it's this experience of being there for three months, and, uh, you know, uh, getting to, to, to get that experience, that's probably what's behind the song. Well, well thank you once again, Yav, for coming on the show. Uh, once well, again, pleasure. I just want to let all of our, the listeners know you can catch Hayahu Deem on October 18th at New York City's B.B. King's Blues Club. also want to give a shout-out to LBNY Productions. They're the production company that just started out by Liot Burko, who helped put together the promotion for the tour. Thank you once again, Yahav, and great, everybody great go check pleasure. out. I just want to add one more time that the show is a special show, and it's, uh, it's a unique uh, unplugged show. It's, it's not the regular show that was there uh, three or four months ago. It's, it's a different one. You don't want to miss it. I'll make sure that I'm there. Hope all you guys Good. can make it out, and thank you once again, Yahav. Great. We'll see you all there. Take care. Bye. Bye-bye. You too. Bye.